Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. So today I got this question, um, here it is. So I have a schedule with all these major projects and things like meditation, gym, self-development, and fixing my life, but I got stuck in a weed-induced, self-isolated rabbit hole into my shadow, along with a destroyed sleep schedule. It's 7 a.m., I haven't even slept yet. How would you go about restarting your self-development journey to get back in tune with yourself? I'm creating a set date to abide by. Okay, so this video is essentially, how do I start my self-development journey? So like if you have all these big projects that you want to accomplish and you realize that you got, you're getting stuck in a weed-induced self-isolated rabbit hole, then clearly you, you know what the problem is, right? You know what the problem is. So to answer this question, I'm going to go over what is your goal. I'm going to ask you what is your goal, what are your inputs. I'm going to talk about sacrificing things to achieve the greater mission. Um, and then what would be, how would we reverse engineer this to ensure success? Um, and what positive habits can we do to ensure that we, we stick with this self-development journey, right? Okay. So what is your goal? That's the first question. What is your goal? You probably know what your goal is, but you're not doing it. So ask yourself daily. Like you, you truly just, you need to ask yourself daily. Are you doing everything that needs to be done in order to accomplish your tasks, your mission? Like if you have this goal, what is your mission? You need to be constantly, constantly be thinking about this and realize that if you're gonna be doing things that are gonna be distracting, like maybe start asking yourself this when you get distracted, like is this serving my goal? Is this serving my mission, my vision? If not, then you need to stop. And I'm gonna go more into how you can stop self-sabotaging yourself later in the video because this is, this is wild. Like I see this so, so often, like so common that people that have this great thing that they want to accomplish but they just keep self-sabotaging themselves and it's like I see people get stuck in the same place for so long and it's it's so it's so sad so frustrating to see because I can see the potential in you I can see that, that you have the potential to do some big things but you just keep staying in the same place so what is your goal right ask yourself that also realize that if you do have this goal, this vision, this mission, then you need to destroy the old self. So your current self is what needs to be destroyed. And when I say that your current self needs to be destroyed, your current identity, this is the thing that is clinging on. And what is this? This is your certain identity right now um, that is so far away from where you want to be. This identity right now is going to be self-sabotaging itself because it doesn't want to die, right? So your current identity right now is like, it's like a being, it's like an animal and it just doesn't want to die. It's so scared of dying. So what's gonna start happening is thoughts will come into your head like, oh, I need to, I'm gonna play, like I'm gonna distract myself with some, watching some videos, scrolling through TikTok. Oh man, it feels good. Doesn't it feel good? to just distract yourself, right? It feels good. And so at the same time, you, later on you realize that feels bad, but it's your current identity which is clinging on for dear life. It's clinging on. So it, your current identity, so if you got this big goal, say you got this big goal, your current identity will be like, uh, let's let's do it later, right? Let's do it later. Let's, uh, let's not worry about this right now. Maybe let's go watch some TV. Let's go, uh, let's go play some video games, let's go for whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like all these things are gonna start happening and you're gonna start getting these thoughts like, well maybe, maybe I'm not good enough or maybe like I just don't have what it takes. And these thoughts are the, these limiting thoughts are coming into your head because it's your current self which is so scared of dying. Your current self does not want to go away. It doesn't want to it, it it doesn't want to die because once you do accomplish your goals, you're going to be someone completely new, someone completely different, and then your current self is going to be bye-bye. It's going to be gone, right? So you have to realize that doubt doubt worries distractions and these urges for uh, doing things that are not aligned with your mission they are coming out of 
uh, a state of fear and a lack of just just not wanting to die right this current day not wanting to die okay so what are your inputs personally i'm only consuming content videos podcasts to help me grow and develop like that is all i'm doing like i'm just watching uh consuming these content mostly from just entrepreneurs that are su and, and these entrepreneurs are super strict and super dedicated because they want to achieve insane 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 big goals right so i'm that that's the kind of people that i am consuming and these these types of people they know that they have to they have to get extremely extremely dedicated and uh disciplined that's the word i was looking for they need to get absolutely disciplined to achieving their goals or else they will fail right so you have to realize if you are not if you're not staying disciplined like it's gonna you, you, it's gonna be tough it's gonna be really really tough to accomplish anything if you if you just can't stay disciplined so you have to realize that and notice what inputs are you taking like if you're just like consuming entertaining material it's like not actually about your self-development um, then then it's gonna be tough for your subconscious to catch on that you need to stay disciplined. Like this is all I'm literally consuming is entrepreneurs who have uh, who are making millions and um, who have goals to make <laughs> like insane amounts of money, like a hundred million dollars, something something like that, right? Um, and it's very very inspiring to me to consume this kind of content because. That makes me feel like, you know, oh shit, like, you know, I have big goals too. I got some big goals too, you know, and these guys, they're accomplishing their goals because they're staying dedicated and they're not, they're not wavering off the, off of their mission, off their track, their journey. So yeah, of course, sometimes it happens like things, you're not always going to be a hundred percent and that's totally okay. Overall, they'll do what it takes and that's going to make me do what it takes, especially if I'm consuming this kind of content consistently, my subconscious it's just, it's just full of successful people. You know what I'm saying? I actually love entrepreneurship. You know, obviously I'm an entrepreneur. I own a marketing agency. And I love entrepreneurship too because it actually, it, it, it requires so much self-development. Like you can, it's gonna be, it's almost near impossible to accomplish um, huge revenue goals if if you can't change yourself like your identity like it's a very 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 common pattern that entrepreneurs to reach the next level like hitting certain milestones with their revenue in order to hit these goals they need to completely change their identities and change their mindset like mindset is actually a huge part of entrepreneurship so that new goals are being hit so that's why i love entrepreneurship because it requires self-improvement, constant self-improvement, and that is super inspiring for me. To me, like the way I see this, the way I see it also, if you're like a man, if you're a man, then to what I see this as is like, you have to sacrifice and do what it takes to take care of yourself and your loved ones. Like if you have uh, a lady, maybe you have kids or something like that, like, then what it requires a man to do is to sacrifice a lot in order to to be able to provide you know to be able to provide um so what does it sacrifice it means it means do, doing things that you don't necessarily like to do like i'll like please stop just completely doing everything that you like to do and feeling like i i totally believe in abundance i completely believe in abundance but uh, it's it's this fine line of um, you, you just have to do things that you don't like to do like and maybe that's a limiting mindset but that's just the way I see it that, that's just the way I see it like you're not always going to be doing things that you love to do and you need to get you need to get over that I'm sorry but you need to get over that because that is a part of the sacrifice that it takes to become a man right to become a man that's how I feel personally this is how I feel Keep asking yourself, are you doing everything that it takes 
to acquire to achieve this mission and achieve this goal to provide for yourself your family your loved ones are you doing everything it takes it, sh it should be a high percentage like uh, really it should be a truly a high percentage if it's really low then you need you know that you need to start doing you need to start changing your identity start letting go of that old identity because it's not going to be serving you it's not it's just if when you're sacrificing the conscious of the tasks that you're doing the things that you're doing are you moving the needle forward right are you moving the needle forward are you actually doing the things that are going to be getting you closer to that goal like it depends on your situation completely depending on where you're at have a, at least a piece of paper write down a piece of paper like you have write a list like what are the really really the most important things that'll actually move things to the next level and that should be your priority every single day like the biggest things that will move the needle for you and in your business in your life what are those things and make sure that they are top priority every single day every single day every single day don't get carried away with all the the, the smaller tasks that really don't move the needle forward you know i also see a lot of people who have these big goals but then they're, they're spending their time doing like the wrong thing like they're not giving themselves enough time to actually do the work like you need to do the work like you, whatever your big vision is your big goal is like you need to do the work like m like a lot of your day should actually consist of doing the work to accomplish that goal unless like you have an extreme amount of leverage but most people don't um leverage meaning uh you know i i have such a high um amount of credibility where i can just i can just you know hire all these people to do all the work for me right so um if you're not in that place where you have that kind of leverage where you you don't have uh, a lot of people that can do the work for you or something along those lines then you need to do the work yourself you need to grind and you need to hustle you need to make sure that you're taking steps every single day to get to get closer to that to your goal to your vision right so let's reverse Let's reverse the steps of success, right? So in order, so <clears throat> let's reverse what we would do to be successful. So to reverse the steps to success, I would smoke more. I would smoke every single day. I would smoke as much as I could. And um, yeah, <laughs> I would definitely, I would definitely not set any you know deadlines for bedtime uh, or waking up I, I would I would definitely just do it whenever I wanted um, and I would definitely give in to all of my urges like any urge that I have um, to just to just relax or feel good i would just give in to those in give into those urges completely anyways you get you get the point right the main the main thing that i really want you to start doing for yourself is to start building up positive habits positive habits how can you start doing this so you can start to get a sense of confidence so that you can actually conquer the world right small wins just get yourself some small wins like if when you do when you have a urge to maybe eat unhealthy uh you have an urge to smoke like tell yourself no you will not do it and actually just don't do it and you will feel incredible you will feel so incredible and what's another really small win uh i mean that that to to get to that place it might take a, a lot of other smaller wins what's some other smaller wins that you can do do, do you have a to-do list of the things that you need to accomplish um, or, or do you just do it once in a while whenever you feel like it discipline means discipline and positive habits means having a to-do list every single day writing the top things that you need to do every single day and making sure that you're accomplishing these things now you might not always accomplish every single thing that you set out to do but as long as you are at least writing it down every single day that you need to accomplish these certain things that will that will be a bunch of small wins like i have this journal right here this is like my weekly planner and this is just a bunch of small wins right here just like all of the, the these are just every day every single day i'm writing down things that i need to accomplish every single day i'm making sure the top priority things 
that will move my life forward are in this right in this weekly planner right so these are small wins like now it's like I, I have this I have this weekly planner and I, it feels good like it feels good and it makes me feel like I can conquer the world because I'm writing things that I need to do every single day and I am accomplishing goals one after the other one after the other I have all these check marks I have all these different check marks for things that I have already accomplished like when you when you can just like at least like have that you can look at this weekly planner and see all these check marks for tasks being accomplished then that will make you realize that you can do anything that you set your mind to and not give in to these urges as much so it seems like a really small thing like just ha having a to-do list and checking things off that you need to do it might seem like a really small thing but it actually carries forward and it, it serves a greater purpose because then you actually feel like you can do what you say you're gonna do you can do what you're setting your mind to and so one other small thing that you can do every single day is having a, a time frame that you will be going to bed every single day a time frame that you'll be waking up every single day so for me I'm going to bed um, no later than 12 a.m. never like never going to bed later than 12 a.m. and I'm always going to be waking up earlier than eight o'clock so that's like my time frame but i try to aim for waking up at seven o'clock i try to do that but at least i have this nice healthy uh, i have this nice healthy uh parameter where i will at least i mean i try to get into bed i try to get in bed before 11 but i have this parameter of before 12 you know uh after 12 is unacceptable right so i have to be in bed but at least uh, by 12 and I have to wake up at least by 8 o'clock and these are my parameters and just about every single day I am hitting these you know hitting this like of course there might be some days I get up a little bit later I might get up at 8 30 okay maybe and maybe I'll have the day off and I'll just get up at 9 that's okay because the majority of the days I'm hitting my I'm hitting the parameters that I set out to do and what does this do it's it's signaling to my it's signaling to the conscious the subconscious that I do what I say I'm going to do. I do what I say I'm going to do. Make sure you're getting these small wins under your belt. It can be so many different things, really, like even meditating three times uh, a week, something like that. Like if you're, if, if you just set out at least to have this goal that you're going to meditate three times a week, just after a month, you know, take take a look at your performance. How did you do? Did you did you hit that goal three times a week? Um, if you did. Excellent, absolutely excellent. Um, that's great that you did that. And what it's gonna give you is that sense of confidence that you can do anything you want. And it's going to be easier to resist the urge to uh, get tempted by these distractions. So another small win might be like going to the gym at least three times a week, something like that. Um, if you're accomplishing that, you, 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 take a, you take a step back at the end of the month, at the end of two months, at the end of three months, and you, you're like, yeah, I've been pretty on point with that. You're gonna feel like you can do anything. You're gonna be able to resist those urges so much easier, so much better, in my opinion. That's how it's been for me. I know this. that's how it's worked out for many other people. To recap, ask yourself, what is your goal? Are you doing daily everything that needs to be done? Are you working to destroy your identity so make sure so remember that every time doubts come up you know uh doubts fears urges that these that that these are things of your current identity that is scared to let go and scared to die to this new identity that's going to accomplish so many amazing things right so you have to remember that your identity will be clinging on for dear life and that you, accomplishing your goals is gonna take building a new identity building a new identity ask yourself like what are your inputs what are you personally consuming are you consuming podcast video uh, content books that are going to be assisting you in your self-development or are you just entertaining yourself all the time you know because entertaining yourself all the time if it's just all the time then it's gonna be hard for your subconscious to be programmed for success um, are you sacrificing like you, you have to be sacrificing in order to be achieving a big goal like you have to be sacrificing 
to achieve your goals, like to be a, to be a man, in my personal opinion. It means you're gonna be doing everything that it takes to accomplish your goals, to take care of yourself and your loved ones. Um, you should be in a high percentage of doing everything that it takes, right? You should be in a high percentage. Um, and you, you should be doing things that you don't like to do all the time, like get rid of that whole thing of like, I, I'm just gonna be doing everything that I love to do because I'm so abundant. Like, no, you you gotta do things that you don't want to do, but still remain abundant. Like, you can still do things that you wanna do, but make sure that's not everything that you're doing is just things that you like to do, right? Because then that means you might not be doing those high priority tasks that are gonna be moving the needle forward. It's, it's crazy, like, <laughs> some people have some big goals, but then they only work four hours a day. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If you have some insanely big goals, you better be giving yourself more than four hours a day of work, unless you have a lot of leverage, okay? Unless you have a lot of leverage, but in most cases, you probably don't have a huge amount of leverage, and you probably need to give yourself more than four hours a day of work, especially if you got some big goals, okay? Like personally, like I'm not taking walks every single day for hours i'm not like working on music every day for hours i'm not working out every single day for hours and i'm not meditating every day for hours like these are all things that i would love to do and they are healthy and they will help me grow but i know that i have these big goals like um for my marketing agency to grow this marketing agency so i can take care of myself and my loved ones to an amazing extent where i just feel financially free completely financially free so that means i'm not going to be going to the gym every day like personally this is just me that's just me that's just the way it's been working out for me it's I'm not working out every single day. I'm not working out for four hours at the gym. Like I'm not, I'm not meditating for hours of, of, of the day. Like personally, I'm not smoking weed because I know that I have to be completely dedicated towards this goal, this goal of achieving an insane amount of revenue. So that way, and profit. So that way I can take care of myself and my loved ones. Because if I'm spending four day, four hours, um, if I'm spending four hours at the gym, two hours walking, uh, going for a walk every day, and then, you know, three hours uh, working on my music, and then I'm left with almost no time for work, like almost like no time for work. And then I'll be, I would be frustrated with myself, asking myself, why, why am I in this place that I don't wanna be in? Why am I in this place that I don't wanna be in? Give yourself that time to work, for real. And lastly, remember to build up your positive habits. Get small wins for yourself, so that way you can feel confident that you can take on bigger things in your life. Like if you, it's gonna be, if you're really having trouble um, going to bed around the same time, and waking up around the same time, like realize it's gonna be tough to accomplish big goals, big tasks, because if you can't do the small things, how are you gonna accomplish all the big things that you wanna accomplish in your life? You know what I'm saying? If you can, if you have a bunch of small things that you set out to accomplish and you do it every single day, then it's gonna be easier to take care of the big things that you gotta accomplish in your life, right? It makes sense, it's small stuff, it's small steps, it's uh, building the foundation so that way you can build a structure as big as you want it. So if the camera's about to die, hope this has been helpful. Peace out, please keep your mind at ease.